This is the President's first state visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and is the first of a Philippine President in the last eight years. The state visit is an opportunity for the Philippines to stress that bilateral relations founded on people-to-people -people ties can strive for stronger partnership for progress. The President, in his meeting with His Majesty the King and the courtesy call of ministers of the Cabinet, can discuss the expansion of the different areas of Philippine-Saudi Arabia cooperation, express appreciation for assistance to Mindanao, specifically on the pursuit for just and lasting peace, explore new growth areas in two-way two trade and investments, discuss closer cooperation on security issues, that is, terrorism and violent extremism, trade in illicit drugs, and other transnational crimes, and to express appreciation for hosting Filipinos in Saudi Arabia, and to discuss labor issues confronting overseas Filipino workers. The President will also meet with Saudi business leaders to push for the Philippines as an investment destination of choice. The President can stress that the Philippines is one of the strongest, one of the fastest growing economies in the world with growth anchored on strong macroeconomic fundamentals and a leadership resolved to bring genuine reform, combat corruption, and address criminality. The President will also meet the members of the Filipino community to thank them for the support for the Duterte administration's reform agenda. End of statement. Hi, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, you did mention something about uh, um, RFWs on death row. Let me know. And po ang uh, mangyayari dito. Mayroon po bang um, reality na yung sinasabi po ng Pangulo bago siya lumipat po punta rito na may iuuwi po siya ng mga OFW na nasa death row. Alright, I think we need to be very careful in delineating the two aspects, okay? He, when he was asked about the Death, uh, death row uh, matter. Uh, we need to clarify that first, the process has not yet reached the level of the king, in which case there is no place for us to be asking for clemency at this stage, so let us wait for the process regarding uh, death row issues. However, regarding amnesty, uh, he, did, uh, he did make mention that he would like, or he's planning to bring home some of those who will take advantage of the amnesty program regarding violators of the immigration rules. But our president is going to uh, talk about this to King. Uh, uh, which one? Which in particular? Like I said, it is not yet the place, it is not time and the place yet to discuss the matter since it does not yet reach this level. Okay, so only when it does reach this level. So I'm sure I'll report you amnesty. Okay. example, discuss closer cooperation and security issues, uh, especially terrorism and violent extremism and trade in illicit drugs. I think that would be one of the topics that will be dealt with. What uh, are the the drugs? What are the Is that what you are saying? Maybe. Uh, I, 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 we will have to verify that. So what uh, expected uh, 
Philippines from the Southern Philippines. <coughs> Um, that's something that you have to be uh, see that you have to be clarified. That will be amplified on later when uh, uh, I believe that tomorrow, uh, acting uh, secretary will be facing the press also. Okay. We can clarify that. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, there have been uh, reports that uh, said uh, cooperation on anti-terrorism would be one of the things on the agenda. Okay. Uh, of the president. Uh, uh, just uh, bago lang po nagkaroon ng uh, isang attack sa buhol uh, uh, involving the Abu Sayyaf which is uh, known to be associated with the Jima Islamic. Uh, how, how would Saudi come into uh, this uh, scenario? I mean, uh, papaano po natin uh, pag-uusapan kung ano yung makukuha natin from Saudi Arabia in terms of uh, cooperation against terrorism. Uh, regarding, uh, you mentioned two things. Um, I still, we still have to clarify, further clarify uh, the, the identity of the, those who wage the, uh, the attacks. Uh, on the other hand, regarding the support, it will have to be worked out on, uh, uh, especially in terms of probably, most probably, policy. Yes. Uh, yes. Sir, with regard to amnesty, uh, sa ng pa ng para natin yung uh, air ticket ng mga magkapi na amnesty? Uh, su subject to final verification, but sa pagkakalam ko po, uh, the President has offered to charge a plane to bring home some. Yes. yes. Any statement of the attack? Uh, uh, right now, there's no statement. We'll, we'll wait on uh, uh, SEC uh, June Escaron to uh, and for uh, second day of the sun tomorrow. Sir, sir, do you have details if possible in the improvement of halal rating ng mga Filipino products? Pag-uusapan po nila yan, that's going to be one of the think matters that's going to be. Uh, the agreements to be signed on are, let me check us. Number one, memorandum of understanding regarding political consultations between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Department of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines, and uh, uh, agreement on labor cooperation for general workers' recruitment and employment between the Ministry of Labor and Social Development of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Department of Labor and Employment of the Republic of the Philippines. Well, not specific to both surprises. So uh, it may be something that uh, may be raised up later with uh, segment law. Yes, sir. Bakit po uh, kasama si uh, uh, Amy Marcos dito sa ano sa trip ni uh, President Duterte? Ano po yung uh, purpose? Uh, that, we, we verify that. We verify that. But uh, she has been <coughs> on certain trips, especially with business-related trips. Sir, yung ano po, si Imoha Wuson, um, you said a while ago in your statement that she will boost the morale of uh, workers <coughs> here in Saudi Arabia. Can, can you tell us more about that? Well, basically, it's a very simple matter. Uh, See, uh, Ms. Mocha has a large following in the area, and uh, they apparently they wanted to help fellowship with her. So it is a question of a uh, basic fellowship and encouragement. Sir, please um, uh, funding her trip to. Uh, we can find out. We can verify. But I think I believe she was invited. Uh, Sir, you talk about seventy-seven percent of those who voted here voted for President Duterte influenced the decision to visit. Influence the decision. To visit Saudi. Uh, I'm sure that's part of that. But that's you know, uh, the president is very uh, appreciative of the support of the people. He's very close to, uh, especially those who are uh, who work, those who labor. It's very, uh, it's very close. His uh, their condition is very close to them. Just yeah. a follow up. Um, when you said um, uh, Mokawusun was invited, does that mean? Uh, the government funded her trip to the Middle East? Uh, she was part of the uh, entourage. So I suppose, I'm not sure, but I suppose. I'm assuming she was. I'm, yeah. Yes. Yes. Sir, we also saw uh, MMD chairman Francis Salentino, sir. On what capacity was he? I'm not entirely sure about uh, Francis, uh, and, uh, uh, Sir Francis. No? Uh, he, I saw his name, but uh, I'm not sure if I met him, uh, if I saw him in during the announcement. Sir, he was in the video of the RTVM, sir. Of? 
of the article well, in, in, in the, the, the Spanish. In, in the Arrival. Okay, let me verify that. Sir, yes. uh, did the president also extend an invitation to the members of Baroda family to visit the patients? Yes. I suppose that will be part of a, uh, what do you call it, a, a part of the uh, complement, you know, uh, part of the uh, protocol. But he hasn't made any invitation yet. As far as I know. What about Southeast Road in the development of Michel Alpha, particularly in the more areas? Well, already they have a. Uh, in fact, they have already ex uh, extended much assistance to Mindanao, and that is specifically for that. Uh, the President will make, make mention about appreciating them, thanking them, especially on the pursuit of just and lasting peace. Anything else? Sir, yes, sir. Yung kay uh, Arthur Lascaña, sir, yung, pag, uh, yung willingness niya na makipagtulungan sa International Criminal Court para sa pando na reklamo sa Presidente, I don't have any comments regarding that at this, this point. Sunod-sunod po yung pag-inig sa atin. Sunod-sunod po yung pag-inig. Earthquakes, ano po ang naging direktibo ng Pangulo bago po siya lumisan at... Of course, ang ano niya is, ano, everybody, you know, to be watchful, to take care, and to listen especially to government announcements and to meet government announcements. So that, especially for warnings, early warnings regarding the matter to prevent uh, undue disasters and deaths. Death due to disaster. Yes, sir. Sir, um, kahapon po, may sinabi po si President Duterte, ito po yung sinabi niya, we do not mean harm to China, we are friends. As a matter of fact, and maybe when we get rich, very rich, I can send the line to you for inyo na. When the spectacle of a war is gone, nothing is dangerous in the Philippines. Sir, ano po yung nire-refer niyo sa I can send the line? Ano po yun? Kasi I remember reading a report that President Duterte, apparently he was referring to the islands. So uh, basically, it was a light-hearted way of saying that, you know, saying that uh, we're friends. Basically, he was underlining that. And if you notice the context of the, if you notice the context, it says when when there's no more trouble, when we're rich enough. Uh, in a sense, that's really uh, a thing that is in the far future. That will be the end result of our friendship and negotiations with China. Yes, sir. After the president denied that there's a division among the ranks of the cabinet, then uh, the reports have been persistent. Sir, I think we need to clarify. You know, uh, we need to be able to be in this in this uh, in this matter. We need to slice thinly. First, uh, as Sek Pinyon said, we have disagreements, but disagreements are not necessarily quarrels. Uh, it, it just shows that there is healthy debate in the cabinet and that there's a healthy relationship. We can't agree to disagree. So basically it's that. There's no point. Yes, sir. Sir, sa campaign po ng presidente against illegal tax sa Pilipina, aware po ba ang presidente na mas mataas ang bilang ng mga Pilipino na sangkot sa illegal na droga dito? Ano po ang reaction niya kung alam po ito, sir? Alamin po natin yan and we'll find out. Ay, hindi ko po alam po alam niya o hindi. Kasi ang pagkakakak po po, inuunan niya na sa Pilipinas. Pero kung sinasabi niyo na mas mataas ang percentage, then that's a matter that should be looked into. Thank you. Sir, pagpangalala naman ang Presidente, yung bagong ambassador dito sa Saudi Arabia, kasi hanggang ngayon wala pa rin daw ang ambassador dito sa Saudi Arabia. There is a, uh, a, a, a consulgeta. There is a consulgeta. Uh, we just wait on his actions. Hindi ba ito medyo nakakapagtunod sa preparation sa state visit? Nagalit na. Well, things are working out all right. Okay. But, you know, these things are really household, household matters. Huh? Uh, the president is very, very cautious about uh, the people he puts in. Even so, he finds that, uh, how do you put it, uh, he, even uh, cautious as he has already been, he still he seems to find that uh, some of his, some of them can, can be found wanting. Uh, sir, uh, oh, no. This this is just a light question uh, for the benefit of the people in Davao. Uh, how did the president react uh, to the presence of Mayor Sara Duterte at the airport uh, during the send off ceremony? Uh, it, it, it's uh, the first time for the mayor to do so. It was very heartwarming, in fact. You know, I think he was. I, this, you know, she, being a father myself, I thought he was basically touched that his daughter was there, and of course. Uh, he appreciated that the mayor of the city was actually there. 
Uh, the, the, the mayor herself showed uh, much respect to the Filipino man. Uh, she put uh, his hand to her forehead, which shows great respect. Uh, it was a very touching moment. Yes, sir. Sir, may mga concern ng mga Filipino community dito sa Saudi Arabia na bumakala nila pag meet nila kay President Duterte is uh, magkakaroon ng parang forum, sir. Pero ang nangyari daw parang pumunta ng sir para makinig. Wala ba chance na makausap sila ng President? I'm sure if they, you know, if they channel, if they go approach it, if they make these things uh, clear, uh, there may be a chance for that. But uh, as far as I can, as I know, uh, but heard, uh, the uh, the local protocol is rather strict, rather strict, and uh, has in fact uh, sized down uh, the actual meeting. Kung kina na po niyang presidente natin, eh, talagang buong araw siguro at buong gabi may ipagdira sa kanila. Kaya lang po talaga na yan. Eh, kaya lang sundan po natin yung protocol ng na local protocol po. Nagpinagubawal yung malatihan ka. Mukhang gano'n eh. Mukhang gano'n. Okay. Sir, yung size down, ano, um, da, ano yung target ninyo dapat sa palasyo? Ano yung gusto niyo sanang? Abay, ah, kung gusto ng presidente, kung eh, gusto ng sila lahat, andyan sila lahat eh. Kaya lang, uh, meron yata local lang, meron local ano yata, limitations. Ano yes. sir, yung ano, limitation? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, pero isa o dalawang libo lang ata ang inaalaw. So pagkakaalam ko lang po. Anything else? Kumula na po, Eddie, eh, maraming salamat. Then uh, we'd like to... Sino po ang tiga dito? Yes. Details ako lang nila. After mo na meeting with the team, ano po ang mga... Yes. 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 We can find out, we can supply that to you tomorrow. Okay, thank you, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys.